Hi, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today's class is going to include a huge variety of hip opening postures. So get ready to open your hips on the floor, on your hands, on your feet, in balances. Um, we're gonna try and hit a ton of different postures, um, all with the intention of opening the hips. So I hope you enjoy it. You might find that the stretchers are more challenging than the standing postures or vice versa. So try a little bit of all of it. All right, so let's start today in a seated cross-legged position. So bring your right foot in front of your left and then we'll switch the cross of the ankles as we move through our warm-up. All right, so bring your hands onto your knees. Take a big shoulder roll and reach the crown of your head up toward the ceiling as you stack your shoulders over your hips. Close your eyes and together let's begin with three deep breaths. So breathe in through your nose, hold it at the top. Let it go through your mouth. Feel your lips, breathe in through your nose, and out through your nose. One more here. to breathe deeply in and out through your nose. You can open your eyes or keep them closed. We're gonna start with some neck rolls. So begin by breathing in and reaching the crown of your head up toward the ceiling once again, and then release your right shoulder to your right ear, chin to your chest. Just take it in three big circles. As always, remember that your breathing can go at your own pace just as long as you're really focusing on making each breath long and steady and slow, even in intense moments. Okay, let's switch the direction of our circles. For three. To center. Switch the cross of your ankles now. So bring your left shin or your left foot in front of your right and reach your arms up overhead. We're going to take a twist here. So bring your left hand to your right knee and your right hand out behind. Take a deep breath here. And switch sides. Back to your center and twist in the opposite direction. Take a deep breath. center. Bring your hands behind your back. Open your chest as you press your fists down towards your mat. Lift your chin and then option to fold forward here. Come up through center and now you're gonna bring the soles of both of your feet together for butterfly pose. I'm just gonna turn on my mat here so I'm not facing you anymore. Draw your heels in, take your hands around your ankles. You can start to press your elbows towards your knees as you hinge forward. Try to keep your head in line with your shoulders and your shoulders in line with your hips. Okay, so in this pose, instead of rounding forward to touch your forehead towards your toes, stay extended. your way back up from your fold. Now bring your feet closer to the front of your mat so that you're in a diamond shape. 
Okay, just notice the difference in this stretch than the one we just did. So again, take your hands around your ankles, gentle press of your elbows into your knees as you hinge forward. It's gonna feel different, stretching a different part of your hips. legs straight out on your mat. We're going to take a hamstring stretch here. So seated forward fold. You can lift your arms up, reach toward your toes. Or you can just start to walk your hands down the fronts of your legs. from your fold, cross your ankles and make your way to extended child's pose. Another great stretch for your hips and your low back. Bring your knees wide, bring your toes to touch, hips to heels, and walk your hands forward. Rest your forehead down on your mat. And we're gonna take three breaths here. Exhale, press up to a tabletop position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees, feet flat to the floor. And breathe in as you drop your belly down for cow pose, lift through the crown of your head, lift up through your tailbone, and then round into cat pose, looking toward your belly button. And again, cat, sorry, cow and cat. One last time, cow. And cat. And from your tabletop position, prepare yourself for downward facing dog. So you're gonna tuck all 10 toes under, Start to lift your hips as you release your heels down towards your mat. You can have your legs as bent as is needed here at the beginning of class to stretch the backs of your legs. Start to pedal your legs, bending and straightening one leg at a time. Press both heels down toward your mat. It's okay if they're not touching, check in with your neck. So just take a couple shakes, wobble, so your head is really heavy. Your gaze is back toward the back of your mat. And then walk your left foot a little bit closer to center and lift your right leg up. So three-legged dog here. I'm gonna take the hip opener. So open your hip. You're gonna start to stack right hip on top of left. Bend your right leg and hold here. Now, level your hips so your right hip is in line with your left, your right leg straight out behind you. You're gonna bring your right knee to your nose as you round your spine just one time. So see if you can make contact, knee to nose. Bring your right leg up behind you, so three-legged dog, and then you're gonna come forward into half pigeon pose. We're not holding this, okay? So you're just gonna set your right knee toward your right wrist, your right toes toward your left wrist. Press up as you reach the crown of your head toward the ceiling, forward fold. So it's just a moment here as you tap your forehead down. Come all the way back up, tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee up off the floor. Three-legged dog, open your hip, bend your leg. Three-legged dog, and release, downward facing dog. Now, bring both feet to touch. Okay, so now your toes and your heels are at center. You're gonna bring both heels high up, bring them Tip them to the right as you bend your legs. So you need to peek at me to understand. You're gonna bend your legs and then 
press your hips back. So you should feel a stretch in your left side. A lot going on here. And then come back to center and we're gonna go right away to the other side. So bring your heels to the left, bend your legs and press your hips back. Feel the stretch in your right side now. Okay, straighten your legs, come back to center. Keep your right foot where it is, press your heel down. Now lift your left leg up. Okay, from here, open your hip and bend your leg and hold. So just feel the opening in the front of your left hip, your hip flexor. First feel the stretch in your shoulders. Okay, now bring your left hip back in line with your right. Straighten your left leg, knee to nose one time around your spine. Tap your knee to your nose if you can make contact. Three-legged dog, press it back up, straighten your leg, and then half pigeon. Left knee toward left wrist, left toes toward right wrist. Set your shin down, lift up, lift the crown of your head up, stretch the front of your body, and then fold forward. Tap your forehead down, or come as far as you can. Press it back up, tuck your right toes, left leg high, three-legged dog. Open your hip, bend your leg. Level your hips, straighten your leg, and return to downward facing dog. So feet are now at hip distance apart. From here, roll yourself forward to a high plank pose. Hold your high plank pose for three, two, one. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Keep your hands right where they are, feet flat to the floor. Lift up cobra pose, roll down. That's three, this is two, lift up. Lower down, and one, lift up. Lower down. Press all the way back up to high plank pose and back to downward facing dog. Okay, lift your right leg up again. Step your right foot between your hands. Begin to straighten through your right leg, extended pyramid pose. Exhale, come to low lunge pose. Release your left knee down onto the floor. Lift both arms up for crescent moon. Feel this really deep stretch in the front of your left hip, your left hip flexor here as you release your hips down. And then let's take it into a twist. So bring your hands to your heart and then twist left elbow to the outside of your right knee. If it's too much on your hips, this wide of a stance, you can always move your left knee in. Okay, so you're working into your level where you feel a stretch, but you can hold the pose. So not too much pain that you can't hold it. Okay, release from your twist, reach your arms back up, bring your hands back down onto your mat, tuck your left toes under, lift your knee, step your left foot to meet your right, keep your legs bent, and come into ragdoll. Opposite hand to opposite elbow. And you can again bend and straighten one leg at a time as you sway side to side. All right, come back to center, release your hands down toward your mat, and then roll your way up to a standing position and slow so you don't get a head rush and then come to mountain pose so big shoulder roll find the natural curve in your spine active in your abdominals active in your quadriceps the fronts of your legs palms space out breathe in lift both arms up overhead exhale cactus your arms inhale come up to tall mountain reaching your arms up and then Exhale, come all the way down 
to standing forward fold. One time, breathe in, lengthen your spine, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Now plant your hands, step back, high plank pose. And this time you can lower back down onto your belly or take chaturanga coming halfway down. Upward facing dog or cobra pose. And then exhale, downward facing dog. I'm gonna do those stretches on the other side. So lift your left leg up, step your left foot between your hands. With this wide stance from low lunge, begin to straighten your left leg so you're in extended pyramid pose. And you're just gonna hold here, stretching the back of your left leg, your left hamstring. And then make your way back into a low lunge position. So left knee stacked over left ankle, drop your right knee down to the floor in preparation for crescent moon. So your foot is gonna come flat. And again, this is too deep. Just bring your right knee in further. Bring both arms up for crescent moon pose. Hold here as you reach your fingers up and relax your shoulders down. As you relax your shoulders down, relax your hips down, but stay engaged in your inner thighs as if you were squeezing them together so that your hips both stay pointed forward. Let's take it into a twist. So bring your hands to your heart and twist right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Press the palms of your hands together as you deepen into your twist. Ooh. Don't lose your balance and then unwind. Place your hands on your mat, tuck your back toes under, lift your knee, step forward. Right foot meets left. Sit your hips low and come into chair pose. So chair pose is an overall body strengthener. You're really working the quads and the hips here. So bring your attention and your awareness to this part of the body as you hold the pose. Okay, now bring your hands to your heart, straighten your legs, come up to standing. And then you're gonna place your left knee on top of your right for standing pigeon pose. And you're gonna come back down into that chair pose, but now with your ankle crossed over your knee. So feel the stretch here, left hip. Feel the strength building in your right leg. Keep your shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Try not to hunch them up. Now you're gonna come back up to a stand, but keep your left leg lifted and hug your left knee into your chest. So we're gonna do this later on our backs. Interlace your fingers around your knee, flex your left toes up, and see if you now can begin to bring your left knee up toward your left shoulder. To release from this pose, we're gonna float the left leg back to low lunge, so take it slow. You're gonna place your foot and your hands on your mat at the same time, if you can. Low lunge, high plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And out. From downward facing dog, look toward your hands. Step, walk, or float your way to the front of your mat. Extend to a halfway lift, so lengthen your spine. Forward fold and return to chair pose. So sit your hips low, reach your arms up. Sit as low as you can, maybe a little bit lower this time. Strengthening your legs, your hips, your glutes. Strengthening so many things, but bringing your attention there. Now bring your hands to your heart, come all the way up to a standing pose. You're gonna now bring your right ankle over your left knee, return back, return to your chair position, but this time adding this hip stretch in standing pigeon pose. So go as deep as you can. Keep your right 
foot lifted up off of your mat. Take your hands around your right knee, get a nice tight grip. Try to position your shoulders over your hips and then hug your right knee up by your right shoulder. So you feel this deep compression in your right hip. All right, now you're gonna float your right foot back, low lunge. See if you can land your hands and your foot on your mat at the same time and then step back through your little flow, high plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. All right, we're gonna increase the pace just a bit, so not holding as long. So bring your right leg up behind you, three-legged dog, Set your right foot between your hands. Come up to crescent lunge, lifting both arms up overhead, and then dip your knee down to your mat. You can cactus your arms if you'd like. Press it back up. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale to five-pointed star, and then bring your hands to your heart and come down into prayer squat. Okay, we're gonna hold this for just a few moments with movement. So first, I just want you to rock side to side. Okay, come back to center. Start to pulse your knees open. Okay, come back to stillness. Lift your right heel up and set it down. Lift your left heel up, set it down. Lift both heels up. Set them down, come up to five-pointed star, exhale to standing straddle splits, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, lunge to the back of your mat. So it's gonna be onto your left leg. Lift your right toes up off the floor, hold here. Always take your hands to your heart if you want. Now you're gonna walk your hands and side lunge to the front of your mat, or you can keep your hands at your heart, working on hip mobility here. Okay, now you're gonna simply turn to face the front of your mat for low lunge, high plank, chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Put your left leg up. Step your left foot forward. Low lunge. Bring both arms up. Crescent lunge. Dip your right knee down. Cactus your arms. Press it up. Warrior two. Open. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, hands to your heart. Right away, bring your hands to your knees. Thumbs face in. Dip your left shoulder in. Look to the back of your mat. Press your knees gently open, come to center. Dip your right shoulder in. Look to the front of your mat. Press your knees open. Come back to center. Bring your heels behind your toes and fold forward. Standing straddle splits. Halfway lift. Side lunge to the back of your mat, onto your right leg. Side lunge to the front of your mat, onto your left leg. Low lunge to the front of your mat, left foot forward, high plank, chaturanga, upward dog, big bug in my ear, downward facing dog, lift your right leg up, step forward, low lunge, crescent lunge, come up, exhale, airplane pose, reach back, lift your left leg up, Standing staff, bring your left leg forward, maybe kick it straight. Standing pigeon, left ankle over right knee, hands to your heart. Modified five-pointed star, bring your left foot to the left, reach your arms up and wide, back to airplane. Bring your right hand down to a block, the floor or your 
leg and open your hips. Stack left hip on top of right. Lift your left arm up. You can hold here or take sugar cane by bending your left leg, taking hold of your left foot, kicking your foot into your hand. And then you're gonna release to prayer squat. So step wide on your mat, bring your hands to your heart, five pointed star, standing straddle splits come all the way down. Halfway lift, extend your spine long. Walk your hands to the front of your mat and kick your right toes to the right. Bring your left hand to your mat and reach your right arm back as you dip your hip down. Now pause here, really deep stretch for your glute and your hip. As you look back to your left toes, reach your right fingertips back. Okay, now you're gonna come back to your side lunge. So bring your right hand to your mat and then just rotate. So your side lunge on your right leg. Keep your right hand on the floor. Lift your left arm up. You can bind if you want, reaching your hands around your right knee opening your shoulder. Okay. Release your left hand down. Come all the way back, low lunge to the front of your mat. Right leg high. Open your hip, bend your leg. Option to flip all the way over. It's wild thing, reaching your right arm to the front of your mat, looking up or back. And then set your right hand down. Lift your right leg up. Bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Lower your left knee down to the floor. Keep your left hand planted for lizard pose. And we're gonna take that stretch, bending the left leg. Reach your right hand around for your left foot. Draw your left heel in. Not a long hold here. Release your left foot gently back down onto your mat. Take your right hand back to your mat. Step back to high plank. Lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog to the other side. Lift your left leg up. Step forward, low lunge right to crescent lunge, lift both arms up overhead, airplane pose, step onto your left foot, reach your arms back as you reach your right leg up off of your mat, standing staff, right leg comes through, you can either keep it bent or you're welcome to straighten it as you reach your arms up, standing pigeon pose, not holding it, already been here, bring your hands to your heart, sit down low into your chair to release modified star. So keep your right foot up off the floor, kick it to the right as you reach your arms off to the side, return to airplane pose in preparation for half moon pose. Ardha Chandrasana, bring your right hip, stack it on top of your left, left hip, hand comes down to something it can touch. Right arm reaches up, your hips are stacked, and open to the side, bend your right leg, take hold of your right foot for sugarcane pose, or you can hold half moon pose. Release into prayer squat. So big step to the back of your mat, hands come to your heart, sink as low as you can, five pointed star, Standing straddle splits, come all the way down. Halfway lift. Now you're gonna walk your hands to the front of your mat for low lunge and continue to walk your left toes to the left as you roll onto the outer edge of your right foot and reach your left hand back towards your toes. Hold this pose here, gazing back towards your right foot, reaching back towards your right foot with your left hand. And then to release, we're gonna to return to our side lunge on the left leg. So just walk that left hand around, spin so you're facing the side of your mat. Hold here, 
either hands on the floor, hands at your heart, or twist or bind. So left hand to the floor, right arm reaches up for a twist. If you wanna bind, you can wrap your right and your left arm around your left knee, clasp your hands, open your shoulder, Release, return to low lunge, step back high plank, lower chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, open your hip and bend your leg. Option to flip into wild thing if you'd like. Reaching your left arm up, back, Make your way back to three-legged dog. Wide-legged low lunge. Set your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Place your knee down on the floor. We're gonna take that quad stretch. So bend your right leg. Reach your left hand around for your foot. Take hold of your foot. Gently guide it in. right foot down toward the floor. Place your left hand to the inside of your left foot. Now keep your left foot where it is and step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. So you're in Malasana. Sink your hips down, bring your hands to your heart, reach the crown of your head up, lower your shoulders down, and hold. Try to keep an upright spine. Try to keep a steady breath. We're gonna hold for three more of my breaths. So I'm gonna count three more of mine. Try to keep your face and your jaw relaxed. This can be a very intense pose for some people. Maybe relaxing to others, but it is a very deep hip opener. If you've practiced with me before, you may know what's coming next. This is a hip strengthener. Not my favorite, but really good for you. So keep your feet where they are. You're gonna lift and lower your hips to the height of your shoulders, keeping your spine in one line, your head in line with your tailbone. So lift and lower. Just doing five. So this is four. And three. Two, one, see if you can hold it for a couple more breaths. Last one here. Okay, now place your hands behind you down into a seated position. Keep your legs bent, walk your heels slightly forward. Okay, so bent legs. You're gonna slide your arms underneath your legs. Place the palms of your hands flat to the floor and start to slide your feet out. Lower your forehead down. Tortoise pose. in a little bit so you can slide your arms out from underneath your legs. Now you're going to cross your left shin so that it's parallel to the front of your mat. Coming into fire log pose, bring your right shin on top of your left. Flex your feet back so they're in line with your heels. 
sit upright or walk your hands forward. If you're hinged forward, come up and then bring your right knee on top of your left for cow face pose. So you're just gonna start to slide your feet back, stack your knees. If you'd like to take the shoulder stretch as well, you're gonna bring your right arm up and over, take hold of your elbow or clasp your hands behind your back. And again, here you can forward fold if you want. You're going to legs cross at the ankles and step back either high plank and chaturanga or just back to downward facing dog. Take one breath in downward facing dog. Okay, now look toward your hands and step, walk, or float back to Malasana. Take your hands to your heart for one breath. So once again, bring your hands back behind you, sit your hips to the floor, and we're gonna take fire log on the other side. So now bring your right shin parallel to the front of your mat. Bring your left shin on top of your right. Flex your feet so that your toes are in line with your heels. Sit up straight or forward fold. Moving from here to cow, cow face pose, you're gonna stack your left knee on top of your right Keep both sitting bones grounded on the floor, so not leaning off to the side. And if you'd like to add the arms, you're gonna take your left arm up and over. You can take hold of your left elbow with your right hand, or you can clasp your hands behind your back. Hold here with an upright spine or hinge forward. you're folded forward release release your arms okay loosen the cross of your legs cross at your ankles and then step back either high plank chaturanga down dog or just step back to down dog balances here so lift your right leg up step forward up to crescent lunge make your way to standing staff step your left foot forward cross your right your left ankle to your right hip so standing half lotus pose bring your hands to your heart as one option or reach your arms up toward the sky. If half, standing half lotus isn't in your practice, you can take tree. But from this pose, we're moving into toe balance. So you can try it if you want. You're gonna hinge forward, bringing your hands down toward your mat, bending your right leg, and you're gonna balance on your right foot. So you can bring one or both hands to your heart. And then begin to straighten back through your right leg, come all the way back to standing. If you're in tree pose, just continue to hold tree. And then you're going to 
move from tree or standing half lotus to dancer. So kick your left foot out behind you. Take hold of your left foot from the inside. Reach your right arm up. Begin to kick your left foot into your left hand. Stay lifted and open through your heart. Your release is gonna be low lunge. So start to kick your left foot back. Bring your hands back down onto your mat. From here, you're gonna heel toe your left, your right foot to the left. Okay, so you're gonna come into half pigeon pose. Extend the crown of your head up and release and hold it this time. Deep breaths in and out through your nose. your hands. Now you're going to walk your right foot back to meet your left and you're going to come down onto your belly. Okay, so just kick that right foot back, lower down, take the tops of your feet flat to the floor. Now bend your left leg, take hold of your left foot from the inside and then option here to press up onto your right hand. Spin your left hand so your fingers are pointed toward your toes, like in the same direction as your toes. Otherwise, you can hold here, just pulling your heel toward your hip. Okay, now release. Bring your left hand down, straighten your left leg, bend your right leg, take hold of your right foot from the inside. Option to come up onto your left hand, spin your right hand so that your fingers point in the direction of your toes. Okay. And release. Press back to high plank, back to down dog, and lift your left leg up. Step your left foot between your hands, low lunge. Step onto your left foot, come up to standing staff. Come into standing half lotus, so you're bringing your right foot to your left hip. Okay, you can hold on to your left foot with your left hand. Bring your right hand to heart center. You can bring both hands to heart center, or you can bring both hands, both arms up overhead. Again, on this side, tree is another option. So bringing your foot to the inside of your calf or your inner thigh. But from this position, we're moving into toe balance. So give it a try if you want. You're gonna hinge forward, bringing your hands down toward your mat. You're gonna bend into your left leg so that you're in a squat. And then bring one or both hands to your heart. See if you can balance. Today's not a great balance day for me. So, you know, every day is a little different. Try to be patient with yourself. Your body changes, your mind changes every day. Come back to your forward fold. Come all the way back up to standing half lotus or continue to hold your tree. And then we're moving from here into dancer pose. So bring, bend your right leg, take your right hand, 
palm face up and take your foot from the inside. Bring your knees together, reach your left arm up and start to kick your right foot into your right hand. Keep your chest lifted and open. And then make your way to low lunge. So bringing your right foot way back, bring your hands down onto your mat. Now, from here, we're gonna come into frog pose. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk your hands to the right. You're gonna bring your shins onto your mat. And I'm just gonna face you now. So bring your shins onto your mat. I'm on a nice soft surface. If you're not, you're always welcome to roll your mat to give yourself some extra padding. This is a very, very deep hip opener and inner thigh opener. So you want your toes parallel with your heels. You want your ankles in line with your knees. And then stay in that position as you open your legs. So if you open your knees wider, open your ankles wider too. Okay, so come just to a position where you can hold this in your hips. And then if you want, you can make your way down onto your shins. I'm sorry, your forearms or your head on a block or your head on the floor or fists. Feel free to find a little movement here, kind of like we did in our first prayer squat. So you can just move around, rocking back, to, back and forth. One more breath here. So you're gonna bring your toes together. If you're not already, come up onto your hands and then scoot your knees together. And then just for a sec here, sit your hips back to your heels. Give it a little rock, side to side, side to side. And then you're gonna walk your hands back to the front of your mat and step back into low lunge with your left leg forward. You're gonna release your right knee down onto the floor and you're gonna heel toe your left foot to the right and come onto your left shin for half pigeon on the other side. So sit up tall first and then release and hold. up onto your hands and this time we're just going to slide our right leg around and we're going to lower down onto our backs bring your feet up off the floor for happy baby pose so separate your knees and your feet hold of whatever you can reach, either your thighs, your calves, your ankles, or your toes, and start to rock side to side. Come back to center. Release your feet flat to the floor. Extend your left leg long on your mat. 
hug your right knee into your chest, take hold of your knee, okay? So we already did this standing on one foot. So now you get to take the balance out of it. Maybe you squeeze your knee a little bit closer to your shoulder since you're lying on your back. Hug your elbows in and down toward your mat. twist. So bring your right knee to the left, bring your right arm to the right, and look toward your right arm. Your arm can be bent or straight. And release and switch sides. So extend your right leg long on your mat, hug your left knee into your chest. Squeeze your left knee up toward your left shoulder, elbows in and down. Bring your left knee across your body, half belly twisting pose. Extend your left arm to the left and look to the left. center. Hug both knees into your chest. And let's release to Shavasana. Extend your legs long, arms rest alongside your body, palms face up. Take a deep breath in. Let it go through your mouth. Come back to the natural rhythm of your breath your body be heavy and relaxed. go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste.